Hey there YouTubers, this is Phoenix Brothers Gaming here. Welcome to the first episode of Empire Total War. Uh, as you've seen lately, I've been playing DayZ. I did have a little bit of a break from that and start playing like Mountain Blade, you know, mods and stuff like that. I also wanted to show you guys what I'm really interested in, like what my sort of gaming type is. I've already played Europa Universalis 4. That is something I'm into. Like it's all strategy, really strategy stuff. Um, I'm not very good at it. I wouldn't say I'm pro, but I enjoy the idea I used to be really caught a, kind of keen on chess when I was a kid, and I think this sort of plays somewhat of a role into that. Um, so, if you're wondering why my voice is a little bit croaky, um, I don't know. I have I have I don't have a cold. It's just yeah, I don't know. It's a croaky voice. Um, there might be like phlegm. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I've I've been having thoughts about what country do I want to be in this campaign. I do know there's mods for this uh, game that allow you to play almost any sort of country you want in the game, which would be really cool, but, you know, uh, for now, I'm just going to start with the basics, and then if we finish this series, then we might start another one with, you know, trying out a mod. I saw a person was able to play Mexico, and that just sounds really cool. So, uh, you know, if uh, you guys really enjoy this series, then you wait, we can, like, totally go on from there. Anyway, so I've been thinking about, like, all these different, um, different countries, and, you know, I was thought, thought thought maybe it'd be cool if we could be India, you know, we're sort of like the underdog and you've got to defeat the Mughal Empire who owns like all of this and, you know, then you can, you know, you've also got to defeat, you know, all the like European powers that are trying to take India at the same time, uh, which is cool, but I've done it before and, you know, it's, yeah, it gets a bit old after a while. Now, Sweden is one of those sort of countries where everyone's like, oh, I'll be Sweden and I'll... Cause just because, you know, it's the Vikings, you know, all that jazz. Um, also, you have to deal with Russia and then everyone else. It's just a royal pain in the ass. Now, in Russia, you have to deal with the Swedes. Um, not only that, do you have to deal with the Ottomans and then everyone else who doesn't like Orthodox. Uh, so that in itself is not really fun. Also, Russia is very land-based. I like a game that sort of mixes it up between the two. Um, I also like it where it's there's like this massive rivalry, and this will ring into sort of the country that I'm thinking of choosing. Uh, the Ottomans, uh, it, it's pretty cool. Like, you know, you can mix up land battles and sea battles quite easily with the Ottomans. The problem is their location. They're like in the dead center between the Arab and... Uh, you know, European worlds and that sort of thing. Like, like you know, you're going to get hit by the Persians in the East, but at the same time getting attacked by the Europeans because they don't like Muslims in there. Pretty crazy. So, I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, I don't really want to be situated right in the middle. Um, Poland, Lithuania is, um, you know, it, it's cool, but it's, it, again, it's kind of land-based. I mean, you could get a couple of ports in here, but then you've got to get it through here. And if you're in trouble with, like, Denmark and the UK, then you've basically got no chance same with like prussia um i don't like being near the, the holy roman empire the germany sort of gig it, it is cool being prussia and trying to basically recreate germany that's an awesome idea but uh yeah no i prefer something towards the uh the west here and um i have thought about being spain but the problem is they just they start off with a bit you know they start off with nine regions you know you get florida you basically in the Americas already, that just, it sounds a little bit too easy, I don't know, some people might say, we'll just shut up and play the game, but it just sounds too easy, like, it's, you know, you're already in there, you, you all you need to do is just start, like, attacking the shit out of it, and when I say in there, like, you, you know, like, eventually Spain just controls all this shit, so, like, you know, you, you've already got control of most of the south area, and then all you need to do is make a push upwards, or you could start moving your shit over here, we don't know. But anyway, um, the Netherlands is an interesting choice. I have played a game where I basically just completely removed this colony here and then just devoted all my time to India and took over the entire of India and controlled the spice trade. That's a great idea, but again, in itself, it's actually a really hard uh, country to play as because uh, your capital is there in the Netherlands and, you know, everyone wants to take you. So, <laughs> also, you have a lot of rivalries with, like, England and you know, uh, France maybe, and some other countries like Spain. Um, Austria is sort of the same deal as Prussia and Poland, Lithuania, where you're sort of in the middle of it all, and you know, you're just going to be fighting land wars and stuff, which is interesting in itself, but it's not something I really want to get into. Now, the choice I really like is either 
the British or the French. And the reason is because they're both over that side. They're on the east, right? They're on this eastern side. England's pretty cool in the fact that it's an island and therefore if I had a navy, no one's going to touch me. But at the same time, it's kind of like the de facto, you know, choice. You know, I don't... Uh, I don't want to do something that everyone else has done. And I'm not saying people haven't done the French. I'm sure there's plenty. But it's like the de facto thing. You know, oh, let's be England and take over the world and do exactly what they did. <laughs> you know, they, at one point they owned, they owned like a third of the world. Like, you know. Um, but, you know, I would like to be like maybe the French because uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to be, um, you know, sort of overturn history and uh, take over all of the UK territories and then eventually when it comes to it fight America and remove America and then take Spain and basically control uh control America which is something that the French lost <laughs> uh you know they they lost in uh in this uh this area here and then in towards the Napoleonic Wars and Napoleon sold this area Louisiana and stuff like that to the Americans to get monies to fight the battle that he lost um, also, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell yet. I am obsessed with Napoleon. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I don't know if you guys, um, you know, I, I, my whole idea here is just regaining a bit of French pride, a bit of uh, Ile de France. Um, so yeah, this is the country that I'm really choosing. Um, you know, Vive la France. And uh, yeah, I guess I, I, that's about it, really. I can shut up now and we can play the game. Yeah, everyone happy? Great, so let's uh, click this. I'm just going to skip it so you don't have to wait the loading screen. All right, guys, I'll see you there. Alrighty, so I have, um, you know, I, I I haven't played this game for a long time. Maybe, maybe a year and a half at that. But I just, like, I don't know why people sort of hate this game. Like, I've had some mixed reports. I love this game, personally. I think it's the period, which is why I love it. But other than that... Um, I, I think it's not too bad. It could be better, like, um, as you can see, it only sort of has these parts of, the, like, regions of the world, and I think it'd be a lot cooler. I mean, we're 17. In 80 years, or I think it's 1788, uh, you know, it, Britain is down here colonizing and stuff. I think it'd be mad if we could, like, you know, do that. There are mods that I think allow that to happen, but, um, they just don't look as good, you know? Uh, so, we're, we're obviously going to go very colonizing in this sort of region. Um, mm. And also, it's pretty cool, is at the start of the game, you start at peace with, like, uh, England. Which is something uh, I found quite weird, because I thought, you know, England would want to uh, sort of be on the forefront of attacking me already. Um, so, currently, we're going to... Um, we're going to invest in a lot of infrastructure and stuff like that. I want to... Uh, I want to, you know, get a lot of tax because we're going to need a lot of money for our troops. So, uh, wait, wait. I, this fur trade's pretty cool, but um, it only, like, gives us fur pelts and then I have to rely on trade. And I'm not really interested in that because I'm pretty sure um, England and, uh, you know, Netherlands and stuff are going to be huge when it comes to that. So, I'm just thinking about, like, uh, you know, sort of dominating in taxes and and say stuff like uh, farms and stuff, because, you know, that that's just going to feed my people and stuff like that. Um, now, this is not my first take of doing this, by the way. I uh, I did a take before, and uh, it turned out the microphone, like, just wasn't working correctly, and I was like, oh, well, that's nice. So, uh, yeah, that was just great. Um, so, yeah, all I'm going to do is bolster forces here, and we're going to take out the Iroquois, because um, everyone's at peace. I don't know why that is, but everyone's lovey-dovey. So, if I could take out the Iroquois, I could get an extra three regions, right? And they're not allied with anyone. So, this could be, like, if I can knock them out, then I'll have an extra three regions in the Americas. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that'd just be awesome. I mean, like, you know, I could have all of this. And then I'm almost thinking of... Uh, I'm almost thinking of, like, taking out England, like, because that, that's where they are. So, like, taking out these guys and then moving out there and getting rid of them from the island, from the landmass itself. I also have, like, these little bits here, which is just really cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm sort of interested in just upgrading all this stuff, because once I upgrade all them, then they all give me taxes. Uh, I can't believe we own, like, we have a lot, we have a lot of stuff. We own all of this. That's pretty crazy. 
Also, this is pretty cool. This, uh, I have no idea what you call this. So if you guys are from America, you can like help me out in this. I know a lot of stuff. Like when it, when it comes to like, I mean, if you gave me a map of America with the states and their states were blank, I could probably point out almost all of them to you with regards to a couple. I couldn't spell them. All right, like Arkansas and stuff like that. I know it has a weird spelling. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but 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 like stuff like this, I don't know what that's called. I think it's called the Ohio Valley or something like that. I, I'm just going to leave it to you. Anyway, so we're going to end the turn here. We've only got $984. Uh, the year is $1,700. Alrighty. Uh, the Ma... The Ma... I, don't, I'm, I always have trouble pronouncing this. Maharatha Confederacy. That's basically the Indians. Um... Yeah, they want to do a trade agreement, which, uh, their office, they're going to pay me to do a trade agreement. That's always a win. I mean, come on. Um, trade agreements are also a very good thing. I mean, y y you know, it's basically extra money, for, and if you can do it for nothing, then you, yeah, I don't see why not, right? Also, it builds relationships with other nations, and that's just great. Uh, righty. There is unused land suitable for farming yeah. in this region. I really don't like that. I, I'm, I've sort of had enough of her. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing this game for like a fair bit, like, and uh, I think you know she she just doesn't shut up. Um, all right, so oh man, um, because we could totally we could sneak around here and hit him where the sun don't shine. Okay, I think I might just do that. Also, another thing in this let's play is I want to fight every single battle, so we're actually gonna physically you know, use our strategies and defeat the enemy. Uh, so yeah, that's something I want to do. Um, okay, the question is, do I have enough? I mean, I, I got enough to take this spot, but, ugh, Jesus, they have a lot of Indians. <clears throat> like, look at this army. You can't see it? Yeah, we can. There it is. Well, there's a lot of archers, Jesus Christ. Alright, so yeah, basically, I'm just gonna take that shit out, and then that'll, that'll split them in half. Is that my dude? Right. Okay, get in there. Uh, okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, but we can stand near it, and I'm pretty sure he can feed me information about it. Yeah. So, yeah. So he can tell me all about what they're doing in this joint. Just by standing next to it, which is pretty good in itself. Alright, so let's go back to France. Because, uh, you know, France is where the money's made. We can, like, sort of spend our money upgrading all this stuff. Like, the Imperial Palace... Gives us tax bonuses. Um, don't really care about you know recruiting militia because we can do that almost everywhere. Uh, what else? We can't do that. We should start focusing on research. Something I really want to get to in this let's play is this. It's platoon firing. Uh, it allows you to basically the front row fire. They crouch. The second row fires. They crouch. The third row fires. They crouch. And they all stand up and then they re repeat it. That's something I want to do because that that would just be. Like, it's just, like, a continuous barrage of fire is just awesome. Uh, we'll build a royal observatory, because that will increase the rate of research. Um, I'm not sure, do I, do I, like, want to, um, I don't know if I, like, want to sort of build a wall in Paris. I don't know, like, is it worth it? Um, no one's really angry at me yet in Europe, so, I, um... Yeah, see, I get money for this. It's This is always sort of a win situation. I'm getting money and I'm feeding people at the same time. That's like, yeah, it's a massive win. Also this, my gosh. Yeah, let's, let's hit that up as well. Um, I, I'd say France is probably one of the easier nations to play as. Because, I mean, if you, you can see how much money I'm going through right now. I mean, I'm getting like... Uh, mm, actually, I think I might get rid of this be honest I think I might get rid of this because I'm pretty sure I can make it a school and if I can make it a school then I can research twice as fast um, you know and I really want to get that once you get that like Indians don't even stand a chance they're just you just mowing them down it's like ridiculous um, all right cool so we can end the turn again uh, sorry if you're a bit bored while ending turn I know I, I was wondering whether or not I should edit it out but you know some things I say during you know this moment in time uh but you know i don't know it's also it allows you to you know see what's happening somewhat with like the five six frames a second um 
<clears throat> also allows you to see the cool flags that are in the uh, in the game. Oh god, here we go again. All right. Um. Mm, what shall we do? See, it, it, it says it's balanced because um because there's two ships on each side, but technically I am way outgunning this guy. Uh, yeah, why not? It's our first contact with the enemy. The Barbary States are basically pirates. Alright, so let's, like, cancel that. I've turned down the graphics a bit, because uh, the water rendering, as you can see, it renders just about here. But it's, like, yeah, there's so much it has to render. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense on the computer. Um, I am really interested in this uh, sort of age of warfare, sail ship warfare. To me, it's just amazing. Uh, so we're sort of against the wind, which also almost makes me want to face this way and basically loop around them. Okay, so funnily enough, the biggest ship is not the better ship. This ship here is way many more guns, 26 to be in fact. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to start it now. We are going to increase sails to full speed. Also going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Buddies. This way. Okay. Uh, we're going to um, man guns. It's pretty cool. You can uh, sort of basically like, zoom in so you can see like the people on the boat, which is pretty awesome. Also, you know, there's sort of like a... What do they call that? Like natural effects, you know, the sails are actually like flapping in the wind and you know, it's it's really immersive, it's pretty cool. Um, right, so I almost think it'd be cool if, uh, so the wind's there, so we're going with it. Uh, the problem I have with these guys is I know one of them can fire out the front. <laughs> he can, uh, yeah, he can like fire, he has like four cannons in the front, which is a problem. Also, I'm not very good with sail ship warfare when it comes to tactics. That is a big boat. That is a really big boat. That's the one that can fire out the front. It's only got four cannons, but they're all in the front. But yeah, we want to... I reckon what we want to do is get both ships to change to this. And, uh... want to both turn this way. Because we are going to take them on. Alright. So now we're not so much in the wind, but we still have a fair bit of the wind with us. Eventually we're going to have to turn there. and th So they've got the wind kind of with them now, almost. Which is a bit of an issue, because it's going to lower our maneuverability, but you know what it is. Yeah, oh, 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 oh wait, we're not going to turn from that. Oh, oh, we got some hits on. He got some hits. Okay, so yeah, we're sort of going against the wind, but what are you going to do? And that would be the phone ringing. You're going to have to ignore that. Oh, it'll be picked up soon. Just give me two seconds. Alright, alright, come on. Alright, ready. Okay, we're going to turn this way as well. Get really close to him, get close in there. Actually, I'm going to turn this boat right here so that we'll get him again. Whoa, oh, wait, who's he firing at? Oh, this guy, really? In the water as well. Yeah, this guy's gonna take some hits. Alright, alright, turning, 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 turning. Yeah, bitch. Alright, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna turn back this way, turn back this way, and we're gonna hit that guy. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, turn this way. Yeah, he's unhappy now. Turn this way. Turn that way, yeah, one of his sails went down, and boom. Why did that not go? And boom. Oh, he's not a hat. Oh, look at this guy. Look at him. Uh, once, once, his, uh, once his stuff's down like that, I don't think he can actually do anything. Alright, so we're going to do this, and we're just going to take out the ship right here. Alright, this guy is not a happy chap. He's, uh, concerned. Most guns are destroyed. Well, that was quite quick, wasn't it? 
a bit cautious when I did that, because I was just wondering whether or not I was going to kill my own ship. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, so it does take time. We have to reload, so... We're going to take this guy from both sides, which is a sort of dirty term, but I'm sure you can uh, handle it. <laughs> okay, this guy is not coping too well. Come on, speed up, please. It's all three sails. He wants to he wants to flee, but he's got no sails to flee. I love it. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Use this. Come on. Let's sails down. Wow, this guy's fast. He actually is moving this guy. Um Oh, he took his back end out. Alright, now attack him. Who's got the most sailors? I'm pretty sure it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty sure it's this guy. Let's, uh, let's come aboard on this one. We should be able to take this ship. I don't really want it, to be honest. I'm just gonna sink it, but it's gonna be cool to be able to get on board. Um, <laughs> he actually has water going through his ship. That's pretty funny. Um, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big shots. And this guy is not happy either. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think that's almost game, I believe. If I turn this way real quick, and... Blah. Let him? Oh, shot! Mmm. <coughs> Alright, so we, yeah, we're gonna... Uh, we could actually... Yeah, we could totally hit him right now. No, let's continue. I, I really want to put as much damage on this guy as I can right now, and... Yeah, okay, now let's attack him. Right, cool, this guy's running, which is a pussy move, but you know, what else? If you were faced with two massive ships, as opposed to like one little puny one and a decent sized one that's being completely destroyed, uh, I'd run like a bitch too. Alright, so we have 28 versus 80 of His Majesty's Finest. You watch this, they'll put the grappling hooks across and then they'll pull on. Oh whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? We're actually we're actually wanna we're not gonna take this boat? Come on. I thought we were gonna take this boat. What happened? What are you doing now? What are you doing? Is it destroyed? Surrendered. I think whoa, he surrendered. I didn't know they could do that. Alright. Anyway, the, basically, this battle's gonna end by this guy passing the, you know, the line. Um, like the line, that, there's like a line out here, you'll see it. It's like a big red line. Alright, come on. Make it pray. Pressing shift, I've made it faster. Okay, where is that line? Can't seem to find it. <laughs> I thought there was a line there. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, Alright. I thought I thought it would have taken his sail out by now, but apparently not. Come on, what, why is it slow? We're in the wind. We have a big ship. There we go. I wonder if we can catch him. Let's head that way. Whoa, we are, whoa, this guy's going real fast now. Shit. I did not expect us to be able to go that fast. That isn't, wow, we are going to catch this guy. Shit, alright. <laughs> I can deal with that. I can level with that. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's take him out with a chain shot as well. Ready, buddy? Boom. Did I take his... I didn't? I did, there it is. How are you gonna sail now, bitch? Alright, let's do it again. Like, yeah, I guess he's got he's got like oars and stuff, so he's he's he can still go, I guess. But it's gonna be his ten men versus my sixty-three, so. Oh, 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 this is close to collision right here. Oh shit. Alright, come on. Use the, um, the oldie grappling hooks. Here we go. Yeah. 
yeah. He surrendered as well. Alright, so here are the, um, you know, here are our, what is this, like, triumphs or treasures of victory. I, I don't understand this prize money. I'm pretty sure if I just click accept, I get the prize money. Uh, I, I can add them to my fleet. I don't want to. So I'm just going to click that and take the prize money if I can. Yes, and I got prize money. Which is great. Uh, so the Barbary States are basically pirates um, in this game. For plantations in this and that would be the uh, alarm. Here will increase Austria. Your nation's export will you capacity. shut up, please? Um, so yeah, Austria and Britain just uh, just uh, remove their uh, alliance. Um, okay. Right. So we're not going to play this now, but next game or next sort of episode, I will, yeah, we're going to declare war on them now. Um, your allies, Spain and Louisiana. Yeah, well, hmm, don't want to call Spain in on this one. No, I don't really. No, it's just going to be me. I'm happy to take them. There's only three of them. Uh, <clears throat> demand surrender. Oh, and they accept. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I have a whole invest in infrastructure as well, and now we have an army in this this hold. Uh, it's not a big army, so we really got to bolster that because, to be honest, there's not a lot of guns in that either. Um, actually, I should probably keep an army in there. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of guys in here. The only guys who can actually fire shots is this dude and this dude. This guy actually only has pikes, so uh, he's cool and all, but like against Indians who also are amazing at melee. Um, you know, like, what does he stand up? How does he? He's better than that, but that's that's their sort of like, you know, he, that's their militia. So I'm sure they have some something better in here somewhere. <coughs> and uh, you know, I need more men, also to take out this one and this one. Actually, I could. That one's actually really under undermanned. Wow. If I if I take these guys out, I'll definitely be able to take that and then take that and then we'll, that's that's GG for them really. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. As you uh, heard the uh, drunken sailor alarm go off, that is end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, you know, if you are interested in, you know, maybe seeing more of this series or seeing um, another nation, uh, just be sure to put that in the comments and I'll definitely respond to that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like what you saw, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.